the budget presented by honorable finance minister is a growth oriented budget it has looked at uh, uh, increasing uh, the capex uh, by 35% in addition also 1 lakh crore is uh, allocated uh, uh, to be given to states as a grant for increasing capital expenditure on infrastructure i think this is what the country needs we need uh, infrastructure uh, to develop very fast the prime minister's jal shakti uh, and uh, the gati shakti yojana under which they are taking various uh, uh, expansion plans on roads on railways on ports and all the other infrastructure i think that's that's uh, the best part of the budget according to me and in spite of uh, very high capital expenditure uh, the fiscal deficit is still uh, proposed to be reduced from 6.9% this year to 6.4% uh, next year on the whole also there is a consistency in the budget the uh, not many changes have been done at all on the taxation front which uh, is a good omen also there has been uh, relief given uh, on the you know trust creation with the ssc where the ssc can even after 2 years within the 2 years of uh, the filing return can change the returns if uh, they find that some uh, uh, income according to them as uh, left to be disclosed they can still disclose it so i think this is a good start for creating uh, the trust between the government and the taxpayers uh, i think overall the market uh, impact of this in long term would be positive because there is nothing uh, uh, you know this thing like in spite of the elections coming in uh, many states the budget is not uh, uh, populist which is what uh, you know people were feared that uh, there could be a lot of populist things i think the government is working on very practical grounds and also long term basis uh, i think last time they said that five years what is going to be the plan of expenditure that is big maintain also government is planning of next 25 years plan uh, and that's a good thing because if you have a long term thinking then um, all these steps you should take are in line with uh, the, those thoughts so the stock market to my mind uh, you know at uh, even today it went down for a while but it recovered back one day is now obviously not an indication in long term i think this will help uh, 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 the capex to grow and therefore uh, uh, the infrastructure companies uh, the steel cement capital goods all these will grow and there is a cascading effect of uh, growth uh, uh, and all the uh, other company so if the corporate performance is going to be better which i expect uh, it to be uh, then the profitability would be better and therefore the stock market uh, so uh, do well uh, on the normal basis it would not be as great as it has happened in the last 2 3 years uh, but i think uh, it will one can expect at least uh, you know uh, 10 to 15% return uh, in coming years based on what the government steps are being taken in the budget i'm sure uh, all the all the uh, uh, investors would be happy with the, the budget uh, there is nothing which has been done to you know reduce there might be some small provisions affecting uh, uh, the bonus uh, uh, stripping etc but i think you know in long term one should expect that uh, anything which uh, is uh, 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 difficult to maintain will undergo change so on the whole i would give very good uh, 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 marks to the budget thanks to the uh, finance minister thanks to the prime minister i think the country should look forward to an excellent uh, gdp growth in years to come thank you